Hi guys, and this video I want to show you this brand new, really cool, innovative little microphone. Uh, it can be used as a on-camera microphone, like you can see up, uh, up here, but oh, you can also use it with, uh, you know, cell phones, tablets, like a mobile device. Uh, and I guess the two biggest features that make this microphone stand out uh, is its microphone design. So you, you can use it in multiple configurations. So you can use it in uh, stereo mode. You can also have it in mono, one-directional shotgun microphone, or you can use it as a bi-directional microphone. And the other really cool thing is that it's air float shock absorption uh, mount, uh, which helps take away any of the vibrations uh, to keep your sound nice and clean. So this microphone is from Comica. I've already actually reviewed a few different uh, audio actually accessories, wireless mics and things like that from that same company. They've done some really cool products. This is, uh, I believe, their first sort of a shotgun or on-camera microphone. Uh, it, the first thing right away you'll see is sort of just the design of it. It has these two microphone capsules that, you know, if you have them both basically pointing in one direction, then it just works as a standard sort of a shotgun microphone, very directional. Um, you know, you can see, you can have it like this, and it works perfectly as a culture mount, so you can mount it on top of a camera and things like that. Um, but the cool thing with these microphones is that you can actually rotate them and adjust them. So if you put them both up here, they're now 30 degrees apart from each other, then it will actually act as a stereo microphone. So we'll pick up the sound from two different directions. You can make it even wider stereo effect by going to 90 degrees. Uh, and it's, as you can see, very fast and easy just by uh, adjusting the rotation of the microphones. Another cool thing about these mics is that you can, for example, put them in two opposite directions. So you can have sort of a bi-directional microphone. And this will be perfect for, I think if you're like, let's say if you're a vlogger, but you're also getting some shots where you're holding the camera, you're getting a shot, and you want to be able to hear yourself. And then let's say you flip the camera and you want to talk and hear yourself and also hear the sound, I guess, around. Uh, so that's where, the, where this will really come in handy. Uh, the microphone itself, the design, is nice because it's just solidly built, but it's very light uh, and fairly small. As you can see, it actually has a built-in lithium-ion battery, which I don't even know how long it's rated to, be, you know, to last for because I've never so far I've actually drained the battery all the way uh, whenever I was using it for a single day. And then at the end of each day, I just plug in the USB-C cable up here, and that allows you to charge the microphone. Uh, and you can also use that to actually update any firmware and things like that. You also have a little LCD display which shows you which mode you're in uh, and things like that. Very easy to see. Uh, here you have also your three and a half millimeter jack so you can uh, run a cable and you can plug it into your camera. Uh, they actually do provide another cable for, for example, your cell phones and things like that. Basically the ones that use the TRRS connection versus the camera. You know, most cameras are going to use the TRS connection. Uh, on this side, you're going to see you have another uh, connection, and that's for the, your headphones. So you can monitor the audio. Uh, and then the, here you have just a knob, which makes it very easy on the go to, for you to adjust the, the audio levels. So it's pretty straightforward. Uh, as far as the buttons, you only have two buttons. You have the power button, which you can press and hold to turn on and off the system. Uh, and then you also have your high-pass filter. So you can actually turn on and off the high-pass filter. Uh, again, just by pressing that button. Uh, so now I'm actually going to switch from my studio microphone to this microphone, so you guys can hear how it sounds. Uh, like I said, I can adjust uh, the levels here with uh, just by turning this knob. I think right now the levels should be good. Hopefully I'm not clipping. Uh, but anyways, this is how it sounds when it's basically just pointed directly at me. Uh, now I'm going to kind of just do quick off axis. So I'm pointing it to the right side and kind of going back and pointing it at me and I'm going to the left side. This is how it sounds. Uh, and now I'm gonna point it completely in the other direction. So you shouldn't be able to hear me too well because it's supposed to be a very directional microphone. Uh, also the shock mount. So here I'm gonna kind of give it a little shake just so you guys can see uh, kind of how the microphones perform with l some vibration. And it's actually very uh, genius in a way how the, the systems kind of the shock mount system is designed because as you'll notice, it's very small. Most microphones have these really big shock mounts to be able to to be able to really isolate the the, the microphone capsules from the rest of the, the basically the camera or whatever it is that's that's uh, going through the vibrations. But in this case, as you see, the whole microphone has a nice compact design, and that's because the shock mount itself is very small. It uses these little rubber dampeners that are filled with air, and so essentially, it's almost as if you know having the microphone kind of float on air. That's that's what gives it that small design, yet really helps isolate 
uh, the microphone from the, the vibrations. Now let me quickly test out sort of the, the stereo thing. So first I'm going to switch it to the 30 here stereo and I'm going to click the mode here. Again I'm going to switch from my studio microphone to this microphone and this is how it sounds uh, when I'm again in stereo microphone. Now there isn't really many stereo sounds so uh, right after this I'm going to show you guys my tests outside so you can hear how it sounds there. But anyways, this is how it sounds in my studio, and again, if I go off axis, this is how it sounds. And if I go in the other direction, this is how it sounds. Uh, if you guys want, actually, I'll put up these files, these sort of audio files from this test, so you guys can hear it, uh, you know, if you want to hear the, the kind of higher quality sound of this. Um, now I'm going to switch the sound, or the microphones here, to the 90 degree position. And again, I click the button for the 90 degree mode so basically you just cycle through the different modes by pressing here in the back and you'll see it kind of reflected on the screen so it's very straightforward and uh, yeah now I'm in the 90 degrees and again this is how it sounds when I switch again from my studio microphone to this microphone now but in stereo mode and it's very wide 90 degrees so now I'm going to kind of point the camera to the left and it's actually the the right channel of the microphone is pointing directly at me uh, and I'm going to slowly start turning it, and now it's the left channel, or the left microphone that's pointing at me. So that's, anyways, that's how it sounds in stereo mode here in my studio. Um, now let me quickly switch to the bi-directional mode. So we'll have my, one microphone this way, one that way, and we switch the here. And now again I'm going to switch from the, the studio microphone to this mic. So this is how I sound when I'm basically behind the camera and I'm talking, let's see if I'm getting some shots here. Now keep in mind I'm fairly close here to this microphone. Of course that's when having that little dial on the tap is very handy because you can very quickly adjust the volume. So if you notice that you're clipping, you can adjust it. And I'm going to turn this though and point it at me. So now the front capsule is basically you know, recording me. Uh, so you're hearing that audio and you shouldn't really be able to hear my sort of computer fan noise there in the background. Hopefully you don't hear it too well. Uh, although the other microphone is pointing in that direction. But anyways, this is how it sounds. Um, so yeah, so these are the, the different modes that you can have with this microphone. Now, let me just quickly jump outside and show you guys my outside tests. So right now I'm testing out the mono mode. So I've got the two microphones pointing at me and uh, the, I also have the... Um, uh, the little windscreen and uh, you know the dead cat on on the microphone because it is actually very windy today so uh, this is how it sounds there's some road basically noise from uh, basically the other side of the camera so hopefully the microphones don't pick up the, all the cars passing by too much and you guys just hear me okay now i'm in the stereo mode with the microphone set at 30 degrees apart and uh, there's construction noise over there there's road noise over there an ambulance so anyways this is how it sounds And now I'm again in stereo mode, but in the 90 degrees, so even wider. And again, the same kind of noise around. So construction on one side, ambulance, cars. I'll let you guys hear. And there's a lot of wind. All right, anyways, let's walk. All right, now I'm in the bi-directional mode. So one capsule is pointing at me, the other microphone's pointing away uh, behind the camera. This is how it sounds. Uh, there's not that much noise. There's a bird on the other side of the camera there. Construction over there still. And uh, otherwise not much happening. Got my son here. Anja, you, you're, you're good? Yes. Yeah, you're not cold? Yes. You're a little bit cold? Yes. Yeah, okay, maybe we should be heading back in. Yeah? yeah? Where's your gloves? But I didn't put them on. You didn't put the gloves on? Oh man. Okay, so let's let's go back inside. So anyways, hopefully you guys could hear my son talking. He was very very quiet, but but he was talking.
So hopefully that test gives you guys a really clear sort of idea of how this microphone performs in different situations. Uh, I, I think personally, it's always great to see new designs for even something as, you know, as old and tried and tested as an on-camera microphone. There's already a lot of choices on the market, but definitely nobody came up with a sort of such an all-in-one solution and such a compact solution too, with the built-in battery and all that stuff. So it's really cool to see this. Uh, when you buy the microphone, you actually will get in the case, you'll get actually a little case uh, so you can travel with it and kind of keep it protected. And inside the case, um, you will have, you know, as you can see, it's very well padded. They will provide you actually with another cable. So this is the TRRS cable for your mobile devices and things like that. So you have another one like that. You also get the USB uh, to USB-C cable for charging or upgrading the firmware. Uh, and then other than that, you know, you get the little instructions there. And then you get the two wind maps, which uh, I tested outside. So. These very quickly slip on over the microphones and uh, kind of help you cut down again on that little sort of a wind noise outside. Uh, anyways, that's pretty much it when it comes to this microphone. Very cool design. Uh, definitely if you guys are looking for something, you know, uh, like a, so a way to capture better quality audio when you're, let's say, running, gunning, let's say if you're vlogging, but you also want to have the ability to, let's say, record when you're behind the camera and things like that, or be able to capture really good ambient sound uh, of different locations, then uh, I think, you know, instead of carrying three or four different microphones, consider getting yourself this cool new Trax Chat microphone from Kamika. Uh, and kind of have everything all in one. And as always, if you guys want to find the latest deals for this, prices, all that stuff, uh, just go to my website at tomantisfilms.com or check out uh, the links in the description of the video. Uh, I'm going to provide all those over there and they're, uh, they are affiliate links. So if you use them, it really helps a lot uh, with the kind of reviews and tests that I'm doing here for you guys. So greatly appreciate that. Anyways, that's it for this quick look at the, the TrackShot microphone from Kamika. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, let me know in the comment section below and otherwise I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!